That's Rod Jones, number 84, celebrating in the middle of your screen. An epic 1985 Orange Bowl win for the Huskies. Rod went on to be a team captain, a Husky Hall of Fame member, and after a stint in the NFL, he came back to his beloved UW family again, working as an academic coordinator, mentoring student athletes for the last two decades. He put his life to this university. He bled purple. This week, two of Rod's three children sat down to talk with us. His son, Rod Jr., proudly wearing his dad's letterman jacket, and daughter, Jamie, they said their dad was bigger than life in their family and to all the UW students he took under his wing. And like, yeah, do you know my dad? Yeah, I know your dad. And they were like, he's the coolest guy I've ever met. Thank you so much. You're so lucky to have a dad like that. His storied football years were great, but not what made Rod Jones a true Husky legend loved by so many. Remembered as a man as big as a mountain with the heart of an angel inside. He looked like he was big and scary, but we all knew he was the softest dude and the funniest dude, the, the nicest dude who would do anything for you. He'd, he'd give you the shirt off his back if he had to. But his family says behind that smile, in the last few years, Rod had become a different person. Mood swings, paranoia, anxiety attacks, depression, hallmark signs of CTE, chronic traumatic encephalopathy a brain condition associated with athletes, football players who've had repeated blows to the head. Then, two years ago, devastating news from their mom. She sat me down and said, uh, we went to the doctor and the doctor said that daddy has signs of early onset dementia. And I just started crying, bawling. And Rod knew it. As the family cleaned out his UW office this week, they found a book he was reading on the brain. He'd gone to doctors and joined a concussion lawsuit against the NFL. But it wasn't enough. His children were at his side during his final moments in the hospital. That wasn't my dad. That wasn't my dad. He was gone. He, he, that, that was a hurt man right there. That piece of him, it was the piece of him that wanted to keep living, that wanted to that wanted life. That's why I told him when he was laying down in the hospital bed, I'm not hurt because that wasn't him that pulled the trigger. I said, Daddy, it's okay. It's okay. Rod's family is urging the NFL to do more for people like him, a loyal family man, friend, and mentor beaten down by mental illness. I thought he was going to uh, walk me down the aisle and be, and be an old man. Cause that's who, that's, that's who, that's who, what he wanted. But when the disease took over, it wasn't him anymore. That, that piece of him was gone. And in full disclosure, the kids wanted to talk to me <clears throat> because Rod Jones is a really good friend of mine. I went to school with him, and I was his tutor through the athletic department at the UW. And I can oh. tell you that UW family is devastated. He impacted so many lives there, the, from the groundskeepers to the facility director to the coaches. He really touched so many lives, and it's, it's really a shocking, shocking loss. Oh, a terrible, terrible loss. Thank you for sharing that with us, Susanna.